Hi guys, welcome. We're back with another video. Yo. So this is Kay and we're going to be talking about how to stop being toxic. But we want to add our own twist on it. These are questions you guys asked me to answer. But me and him both have been, we have been toxic. And since I never tell you guys what I have done and like accountability and all that, you guys might want to stay tuned because we... I got uh, I gotta hold her accountable. <laughs> she ain't want to tell y'all the truth. So you know, I'm, I'm here to make sure she tell y'all what's the real deal. I'm dead. All right, so... I'll, I'll start this off. Okay, good, good. All right, he so, comfortable now. So, um, you know, everybody's toxic to some point. Yes. You know, I don't care who you are, how healed you are. I this agree. is this is 2022. This is like the epitome of toxicity right here. It is. So, I'll start it off by I'll name the top three toxic things that I did to my ex, and she will hold herself accountable and name her top three things that she yep. did to her ex. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm gonna ease in there real quick. So when we first, you know, kind of separated, uh, she had blocked me on everything, but I wasn't done. So I was like, no, there ain't no way. You gonna hear what I have to say. So, uh, you know, this was not that bad. I took it upon myself to <laughs> email her. You know, I wrote a, typed her up a little apology letter, how much I missed her with like some of our favorite photos, like a photo dump and shit, you know. She ain't reply, but. <laughs> but no. it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. No. Um, <laughs> the second thing I did to her, this one's a little bit more like a brute. Uh, we was arguing real hard one time, and then like you know, the anger got the best of me. I snatched her phone, and like, like I broke this shit. Like, I, I bought her a new phone because like you know, and, like. Did you feel bad? Yeah, I felt hella bad because there's, there's like no way that like you know I should have just even allowed something to anger me that to bad. get like that. Yeah, you yeah. know, and I, like now that oh. I'm healed, I feel way better. I'll never do those type of actions again. But the third one, whew, this was like, boy, I became the toxic king. But I'm pretty sure, bro, if any of y'all did that, bro, comment and let us know. Because I feel like I can't be the only one. Yeah. So you one ain't time, she was, we was arguing real bad and she was trying to leave. And I'm just like, in my head, it's like, where are you going? This is your home. <laughs> I your am home. your home. Like, you be here. Aww. So she was trying to leave out the house. You feel me? And I was letting her leave and stuff. But then when she got in her car, I realized she was really trying to leave. So I got on her hood. I was like, you're not going to leave. This is our home. We're going to talk about it and we're going to fix it. Like, you ain't going nowhere. And she ain't going nowhere because I was not getting off that hood. Like, <laughs> I was not getting off that hood until we went back upstairs. Oh, that's sad. But that's my, my three tops. So, you know, go ahead. The floor Ooh, is yours now. I don't like this. this. All right, guys, you come to camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think the same thing as him. We'll start off like... I guess good. I'm nervous. I don't know. Okay, I'm wrong. I'm just going to say I'm wrong. I shouldn't have done this. It, this is my fault. So the first, you know, a couple, it's the same thing as you, but I feel like I went ham. Like I really, <laughs> like you did the emails. I did the emails, the call, the voicemails, and I messaged oh, his brother, shit. his twin oh, brother to shit. contact him, his whole family. Like, yeah, it was bad. Like guys, yeah. I was, I was down bad. I never loved anybody that much. Okay. So <laughs> the second time, I don't even want to tell you this cake. This is embarrassing, but whatever. Um, should I say the whole story or just like a little bit of it? Might as well. They like to know all my damn business. I'm a healed yeah. person from now, guys. I, I know that that shit was wrong, but like, again, mind you, my ex and I were abusive towards each other, or he was abusive towards me. But he had did something to me that pissed me the fuck off, and I had, um, I got my safe, and I was drunk, and I was like, I'm fucking leaving you, like, I don't want to be with you, all this stuff, or whatever. And he said some shit about some girl. <laughs> I went like this with my safe to like swing it, and I fucking broke his TV. With my safe, I was taking my safe to go. Yeah. Kate, <laughs> don't look at me like that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, guys. So then after that, of course, you know, domestic violence. What do you think happened after that? But yeah, I bought him a seven hundred dollar TV or eight hundred dollar flat screen. Yeah, that gives me anxiety talking about. I'm wrong for that. I should have never done it. First of all, guys, I shouldn't have been drinking that damn much knowing me and him are going through that many fucking problems. Like, do not drink if you're having a toxic relationship. Did y'all drink a lot in your relationship? No. no. I, was, I was a really, like, heavy drinker like, oh. in the beginning. And then she, like, loved me so much, she made me tone that shit down. Oh. So, I wish he would have done that with me. He amplified it. He was, like, doing stuff with me. Even we were drinking, like, the big Jose Cuervos like this. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> nah, bro. That's why she out here swinging safe, bro. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Well, that. he's a grown man swinging hands, so if you don't swing hands on me, I'm gonna not hit you, but I'm gonna try to get you out my way. Next thing that I did, guys, was I was I'm not proud of this at all. <laughs> His face, he's like, <laughs> he yeah. knows he knows this one already. Um, 
me and Max were like fighting or whatever, and he was leaving, and I grabbed a this. Oh, the water. To throw it, yeah, I told you this. To throw it or whatever, guys. My ass was throwing it at him, mind you. He had already put his hands on me. He pulled my dreads out, so he had already hit me. Um, I went to go do that. I told you, yeah, K, how you knew this? Yeah, I knew, but K, he like. You pulled your hair out. Okay, he left me pregnant and all that stuff. Okay, oh like, okay, there's a whole domestic violence. He tried to beat me up in front of the gym. There was gym bros that helped me. My eye, look, that's why I wear glasses. Look at it. It's all like dripping oh all the damn time. Yeah, dude. So if you think this was, boy, he almost took my damn eye out. He gouged my eye, dude. He's doing one like this, trying to take it out. You guys know this already. Yeah, oh, dude. Geez. I don't know what the fuck he was trying to do, man. I don't know. So I grabbed this <laughs> bottle and I threw it to chuck it at him. And guys, the fucking bottle hit the top of the windshield. I didn't know this. He had just took off. We were arguing early in the morning. It was like three in the morning. Don't even ask why we were arguing that early. That's what he said. Fuck you, kid. <laughs> I, I said it. I said bro. I been we were in. toxic. Yeah. We were. I was toxic too. That like arguing shit that I used to have is so bad, guys. But yeah, those are my three toxic like. His face, he's like, sheesh, girl. See, I I knew the stories. Cause he knew, but like not. <laughs> I didn't go into depth like that, so that's that's a first for me. That's, yeah, okay, wow. that's why I'm telling you. This is why we're talking about taking our time to heal and all that. Like, I'm a little bit traumatized from yeah, that relationship. Yeah, I, See what I mean? Like, if you leave a toxic relationship, yes. or or a relationship in general, because usually, typically, when you're in a relationship, you care for that person, you love them, you're in love with them. When you leave a relationship. Take the time for yourself. Yes. You feel me? Don't, for the dudes, don't go out there and get hoes. For females too, don't go out there and be a hoe. Don't get hella niggas. Don't look for somebody to accompany you. Like It's not worth it. Just sit there with yourself and really self-reflect for a while. Because, bro, the world is going to be full of people. So those hoes are going to be there after you're way healed. If you're healed and then you want to go get hoes or go be a hoe, That's by true. all means, do it. But make sure you heal yourself first because you do not want to take these problems and this baggage with you into your next relationship or even into your next stage of life. Because guess what? That next stage of life, you're going to have a whole nother set of problems or baggage that you're going to have to deal with. Yep. And it just all stacks on top of each other. Yep. And then for you, Kay, like, since we're both, like, toxic in a way, like, I can say for me, um, my mouth was a big problem. Like, I know for a fact that, like, when I felt some type of way, I voice it. Because I was in a relationship before where I didn't voice it, so this one I did a lot. Mm -hmm. So now when I'm in, like, heated arguments or stuff like that, Kay, I'd be shutting down. I turn like the way he, my ex was like that's, that he would shut down and not talk to me. So now look at me, I'm like this. Like yeah, but look, I'll tell him, it's, it's different, though. He would do this and then not talk to me at all for yeah. hours. And he'll get mad at me, but now I'll be like, hey, you know what? I need some space. I'm either getting anxious or I, I don't know what to say. So I'll just leave it at that, and then I'll talk to him in like 10, 20 okay, minutes. Okay, that's, that's not that. So it's not like I'm like, get out of my face or like yeah, silent yeah. treatment complete. No, no. If you're like begging and like being like, hey, girl, can we like talk? Like, please don't do that. To I'm never going to make somebody beg and like, please talk. I don't do that because I used to do that, and that hurts. Yeah, when I see somebody you... beg, that shit hurts my heart. Don't beg. At I'll be like, no, give me a hug. Uh, I don't like that. Like, you could communicate that. Yeah, so yeah. Like, you know, it's not, it's not it's not that bad. But I was, I was like that, too, um, yeah. with my ex. Like, towards the beginning, I was like, I just didn't know how to express my feelings or even say anything. So whenever we like she would try to argue or, or say anything, I would literally just sit there and stare at her. And she would ask me, like, why the fuck are you just staring at me like that? not saying anything. And I just didn't have an answer because I wasn't, very, like, a very argumentative person. Like, I just, like, I never had to deal with being like I said, that was my first relationship as like ever. Oh, that's true. So I didn't have to deal with being accountable for shit that I did. On top of that, having somebody basically tell me yeah, what I was doing cool. was wrong. So it's like, like I would be stuck because I'd be like, "What the fuck is going on?" Have you dealt with that now? Like somebody like calling you out on your shit. Like, how do you deal with that now? Do you get mad? Um, no, but I mean, calling you out in like a good way, not like where it's disrespectful. You know what I mean, or shaming you. Well, you shouldn't shit, do that, I, guys. I don't have nobody really calling me out because, like, like I said, I'm, I'm alone. alone. Yeah, I'm alone. I'm alone. Like, same. I nobody. Be by myself, yeah. like in my own zone now. So, on on some real shit, the way I had to deal with it is I I call myself out on bullshit now. Like you have to, dude. Like especially I, when you I are am, alone. I am my biggest like like hater for real. And the reason I'm my biggest hater is because it keeps me motivated to push to do like the right thing or be better. So it's like, like I really be sometimes, and a lot of people tell me like now, bro, like you gotta chill because you're so hard on yourself. But like, I can't chill because like you know, it's just I gotta fix me. Ain't nobody gonna be able to fix me the way I could fix mm -hmm. me. And exactly like what he's saying, guys. I feel like super disgusted by the things that I did <clears throat> back then, and it bothers me. Like I wish that I could go back because 
even now, I don't care what happened with me and my ex, you guys can have whatever feelings you want because he did put his hands on me, but I did a lot of stuff too. We were both wrong, you know what I mean? Like he was not the only one. I did a lot of stuff and I damaged that man just as much as he damaged me. So I just don't like that, you know what I mean? So now I, I care about how I move and I care about what I tell people, especially if I'm in a relationship with them because that feeling I have now, like that guilt, that shit eats you up, bro. Like, yeah, I don't care what any, you're a monster if you don't feel shit. Like after your relationship and you think, oh, it was only him. Like all you ladies out there who don't take accountability and think it's only your dude who's wrong because that's all I hear from you guys, don't do that, dude. Same with, like, the, same with the guy. Yeah, man. dude, like, like gotta oh, understand. It's all them, all them, all them. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, bro, it's not. And like, how, thing, she, how she was just saying, like, I be looking back at a lot of shit that like, you know, I put her through and, and like even some of the things that I said, like I feel like I feel ashamed and it's like those things don't come and just go like you really have to sit with that for the rest of your life. And yeah. the only thing you can do is make sure that you don't do it again. Because yep, that's how you know when you're really sorry is when you don't do the same shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, Both of us both like, mm, yeah, like oh no. Like we yes, okay, guys, we got him. Yeah, we're gonna take a shot yeah, to, that, to happy memories now. No more toxic, yeah, anymore. being better. Fuck all that. We're as we're drinking. It's <laughs> wild. And as far as now, like, do you think that you're where you want to be at, like, with the type of person that you are, the type of man you are? Like, we all have a vision of how we envision ourselves, like, me. I think I'm there with like the independence part, with like the compassion. I have all the other factors to like maybe like love a man, mm -hmm. but I know definitely with like certain things of mine, I still hold that trauma, dude. Like I'm afraid to get hit, dude, or so, like I'm afraid that I'm gonna act bad, you know what I mean? Or my mouth. You'll always hold that trauma for the simple That's fact scary. of whoever said this. I don't know who made this quota, like this quota, but if I ever found you, I will, I will fuck you up because <laughs> it's a lie. They say. <laughs> Everything heals over time or time heals. That's a lie. No, it doesn't. You just learn how to, to manage live it, with yeah. it. Or bear you it's just bearable. learn how to live with it. I swear to God, you will never forget it. You will never stop thinking about it. You just learn to live with it because it's so it's so long ago. That's literally it. It does not heal you, though. But, damn, what was the question? <laughs> I even forgot. <laughs> oh, but you said, uh, am I... You said, am I where yeah. I want to be? Um, yeah, where you want to be now in life. Even I forgot my bad. Um, I would say I have gotten way better, but my like my motto is I'm proud of myself, but I'm never satisfied. So I'm always chasing myself or what I envision myself being five years down the road. So then I'll never catch that. So I'm always on the run to become mm. a better person. And that's what... I like that. That's, that's what life... Um, relationships you know i don't want, i don't want to be toxic i don't want to be like hateful or vengeful towards you know my significant other or anything like that dude so. i'm glad you said that because i've been is that weird that i feel that way because my whole life i've always this is bad guys but another toxic thing i've had i've always hated all my exes because like they either uh, cheated or did something so like yeah. look the one person that i was with before like they apologized all that stuff and i'm cool like i was like you know what thank you that meant a lot like they never were sorry so like with the recent ex that i had the abusive one or whatever like he's the only person i can honestly it's sad that i like forgive and everybody's like dude he literally like dogged you out beat you up like left you pregnant like you know what i mean so like why are you sorry but i'm like i don't know why i'm like sorry and forgive him see that's the thing and i don't know why kate because everybody's like you know they want me to be mad but i'm not mad no it's because you and you i was wrong too yeah i was way. mad before kate i did everything bad i should have like did it differently that's why you don't hate him it's like bro you should have no no hate in your heart for anybody yeah i'm starting to feel that they, way now but it everybody. doesn't matter what they did to you i could sit Forgive here and them. tell you guys a million things that like you know family members did to me ex, my ex did to me like anything but i have no hate in my heart for any of them because that that hate lets them know or even if they don't know but internally you're letting them have power over your life decisions or how you want to live your life that's true so you just got to let it go just know that it happened know not to put Period. yourself in certain positions so it can happen again and move on there ain't no reason to hang on to that and are shit. you a forgiving person yes i would yeah, say so i am now you seem old now. but back then you was back like, then I, I really held grudges no dude let's see now guys when i tell you you could have <laughs> took a fucking penny from me and I would have been like bitch give me that penny three years ago like now no oh God. yeah see he knows I would have like, sat there and yeah. like, you remember when you borrowed those socks and you never <laughs> fucking gave them back like no that's how bad it was now I'm like okay keep it pushing I'm not cool with you but you know you live your own life yeah like I'll be like you know wish the best upon you but I, I know now not to not to put myself in the position or mess with you the same way that I did because you will hurt me
Dang, guys, look at how we sound. We growing up. Man. Yeah. That's it. That's I, it. it take a while. It, it take mm-hmm. a minute, but it's. I swear to God, it's worth it. It's you know what it. I think it takes, though, and it's kind of sad? It's always a traumatic experience that, like, blows you off of the fucking track, and then now you got to find your way back, baby. That's yeah, how I felt, yeah. dude. Like, once that shit happened to me, dude, I hit rock bottom. Like, you don't I understand, did, I man. I too. lost everything, bro. Like, everything. Like, especially when you wrap your whole, like, but relationship see, you, around you, somebody. Don't do that. To, don't do that, guys. You had to, uh, you had to find your way back by yourself, huh? Yeah. See, and I feel like... I'm the alone. People, the people that have to deal with that, like... No mom, of, no dad, nothing. Yeah, man. like a lot of people, they have like, you know, they could run to to their friends. If you don't have friends, they could always run to their See? mom, their dad, you know, family, something. We but alone. We were through our breakup, we like, was alone. Yeah, we, Fuck. I didn't have nothing. Like, so, like I had two friends and two of my closest friends bailed on me around the same time. Uh, I was never really close with my family, so I couldn't go to them. They didn't know what I was going through. So I was really every day coming home and dealing with not only depression, like heartache and anger and sadness and not knowing how to feel, literally by myself. And it took me about three months, three to four months of me being by myself and feeling that every day. To finally get kind of rid of that. And it's still like, it's not there as much, but it's like you get that It's still there every once in a while. Oh no, for real? Okay. No, every once oh. in a while. It's like, like, like I right. said, you'll never forget that. That's something that like, you oh, know, okay. it hold, it, it's something you hold. But it's like every once in a while, you'll still get that feeling. But it's like, you know where you came from. You mm-hmm. know, like, you know, all right, you know, I feel this way. But like, at least it's not as bad as like, you know, it used to be. Yeah, I'm doing better. Like so, you find different coping mechanisms as you start progressing in your like healing journey. Oh, too. yes. I didn't know all this shit until I know now, like the gym, working out, yes, writing, do not, affirmations. Do not. Do not, <laughs> do do not. not turn to alcohol. Yeah, don't drink for a while, do guys. Stop drink. drinking when you're breakup. Do not. I tried smoke. drinking the first day after my breakup. Don't I almost do fucked. Any substances for a while. Like, do a six months for a clean. While. Six for, months for clean. A cleanse. For Work a cleanse. Out you know every what I'm going to tell you? Yo, go, go, go to the fucking gym, gym <laughs> and get jacked. Because that <laughs> is the way. I swear to my on my life. It's going to be a struggle because you're going to be depressed and sad and cry. Bro, I used to go to the gym and I didn't talk to nobody. I'll be there in a hoodie, shedding tears, lifting weights. Swear to bro. I, I swear on my life. I literally cried. At the- oh my God, this tears, is sad. lifting weights day in he and preaching. day out. And I don't, I feel so much better with myself. Like I feel not only am I like confident with myself, I'm confident in like who, <laughs> <laughs> he who I am. But I'm telling you, when when you go through a breakup or you're going through anything in life, put the drink down, put the drugs down, put the the smoking down, put the hanging out down. Just let your, it be your you friends, and your thoughts. Your friends will, if they're really your friends, they will understand yep. that you need a you're moment in your life for yourself. If they don't understand that, they like sorry to tell you, get rid of them. They're not really your friend. But do all that. Get put yourself, isolate yourself, go to the fucking gym. Get jacked, get ripped, lose weight, whatever you gotta do for a couple months. And I swear to God, you will feel a whole lot better. No one believes this though, dude. Like when I tell people the gym really like saved my life, people be like, dude, it's not that serious. It really, no, it is that serious. I was in the same thing you had. Like, dude, I cried in the gym bad. Like, I felt so embarrassed because I could not breathe. My eyelash went like this and fell off. I was like, (laughs) down bad. No, I was like this. I was bad, dude, crying super bad, but I still went. That's why I appreciate him because he does the same thing. Like, there's people who go and like confide in other people or find a new body to just, you know, ruin. Us, when you sit there and be alone, it guys, it hurts. It ain't no fucking walk in the it park. Hurts. It hurts. But now look at us. I'm glad yeah. I did this route. I'm yeah. glad I didn't have 30 yeah. bodies after my <laughs> breakup. My eyelashes wasn't falling off. <laughs> I was crying. But I would hope not. Crazy, but, but yeah, you know, it, it's painful. I'm, if, if I would sit here and tell you, like, you know, it's not painful. You're not going to feel no type of way. Oh, it's going to be better lie. in a couple months. We would be lying. So, okay, how do you think it's, how would we tell them? not to be toxic anymore what could we they learn from this like video that we just said or like shared okay so it's two steps to not being toxic i feel like there's a the single the single way so if you guys are just like completely done with one another Mm -hmm. um you would have to do that one obviously solo so you would have to you know so instead of like a lot of people when they break up they they tend to to or even when they're angry blame other people instead of doing that take uh a couple months and literally sit there and and self-reflect 
Like, like fuck what your partner did. Forget how much they hurt you. Think about every fucked up thing that you said, every fucked up thing that you did, how you could have did something better and write that shit down. Write that shit down or, exactly. or put it down and self-reflect on yourself because at that point, it doesn't matter what they did. You guys are no longer together. And then you're trying to fix you. You're not trying to fix them. So you have to self-reflect hard, like hard. But really, like, be stern with yourself, guys. Like, be honest. If you have to, I say get, I'm in therapy too. So, like, do therapy. Um, same thing he's talking about, self-reflect. But, guys, don't be lenient with yourself. Like, if you know you have accountability issues, you know you're a pathological liar, you know certain things are bad about you, write that shit down. Don't, don't be trying to, oh, no, I'm just this. No, girl. You know you got 20 right. things on there. Write them down so that you can work on it. So that that way, look, if somebody calls you out on your shit, you know how you are as a person. You're working on it. You know what I mean? That's big facts. Yeah. And, and I'm you gonna, call me out. It don't hurt my feelings. I know I'm a, a bitch. I'm going <laughs> to share with you guys just because I'm so at home with myself finally. I'm going to share with you guys one of the biggest toxic traits that I had in the relationship and why I knew, like, I realized it didn't work. I want to know. Because yeah. I was very narcissistic. <gasps> no, everything, okay, you? I swear to God, everything I did or everything, like I said, basically revolved around me. Like, if it wasn't me, 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 I didn't want to fucking hear it. I didn't really care. And <laughs> I, I was so lost in the sauce of that shit that I didn't even know until after the fact when I started healing, like, damn. I could have really did like so much shit differently to show her that like you you know, actually I cared, cared for her because I did care about her, but I was too. You like didn't know I how said, to go about it. Yeah, I was too stuck in my narcissistic way. So like, I'm no longer a narcissist, so I'm working towards like you know lessening that. But I could admit like I was a very bad narcissist. And if you don't know what that means, just go look it up. Like, damn, a that's lot of people, crazy. A lot of people, like, Do you feel that way about that. yourself now? No, I mean I'm 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 by myself, so like you know I focus on myself a lot, but I. I know that if uh, I ever did get into a relationship or did like work things out with her, mm -hmm. that I wouldn't be the same way. I would definitely well, not yeah, be a of narcissist course. because it's like I, realizing it now. It's like before I couldn't fix it because you can't fix what you don't see a problem. Like if That's you don't see true. a problem, so I didn't see it as a problem, so I, I didn't have to fix it. But now I see like damn, that was like a huge problem. That's a huge problem. Like that was a, like such a big problem for me. Dang, but, I wonder if I'm narcissistic. Um, look how up, would you? How would you know? I know. You gotta the, look up the traits. Because I've seen narcissistic things or whatever, but um, narcissists look, don't apologize, and that's all I did throughout the whole relationship. Like I was the one. Like that's that's one one trait you have to. So a lot of people they'll they do that. They'll be like, because I want to know. I want to know. They'll see one trait and be like, oh, well, I don't do that. I'm not a narcissist. <laughs> like you know, I'm good. it's like, on me. No, 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 no. Just because you don't have all the traits doesn't mean that you're not. And narcissistic. what are the traits? Can you know at least like maybe three? Because um, I know some not, of them, but not apologizing. Uh, Feeling like, like basically, like long story short, feeling like the world revolves around you. Oh, like so, so if anything happened, you were looking for the best outcome just for yourself, pretty much. Oh no. So like, like yeah. Like, I don't put myself first. That's my issue with every guy I've ever oh, been with. Oh, then it's, it's starting to sound because that's already two for two that you don't have. So it's starting to sound like you're not a narcissist. I think I'm very uh, empathetic. I'm a crybaby. Narcissists don't even cry. Yeah, I can't think Narcissists of Narcissists are very, very but insecure, but they're not empathetic. I know that. They, they don't have that emotion. See, but that's the they thing. They think I'm, logical. I'm not insecure. That's why I would, like, not be like, oh, I'm not. Because that's one, like you just said, that's one of the top three things. Like, a lot of narcissist people, they are very insecure with themselves. But I was always very secure with myself for the simple fact is, like, I was so selfish. I always worked on me. So I always. And do you feel that now? I feel like I'm selfish because I have the, the right to be because I'm not in a relationship anymore. Oh, well, so yeah, you should like, be selfish with yourself. Yeah, you know, I'm working on me. I'm getting my health right mentally, emotionally, and physically. Like, yeah, I hope I'm not a narcissist. That's scary. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about that now. It is hella scary. But all right, guys, that sums up our third video for the today. Man, damn. If you have any more third. comments or... <laughs> got any more comments or like questions or any videos you guys want us to do comment below i'll put all his like links and stuff in the bio so just like look out for that oh appreciate it. say bye